What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. We have the information now for Basil Hawkins and Eustace Kid Sugo Fest exclusive characters. Now we do know what they do at a base level. Obviously we don't have their stats. We don't have their limit break abilities. Um, we don't know the rare recruits of the batch. Like we don't know what they do. We know who the characters are. We know there's going to be a rare recruit X Drake and there's going to be a brand new rare recruit page one. We do know that that is 100% confirmed, but we do have the captain ability Ability, the super typing and the special ability of both Hawkins and Kid. Um, so we're going to go through that in this video today. Uh, I do want to say though that Hawkins disappoints me to many, many different degrees. I'm so upset that they've built Hawkins the way that he did. Um, he's just very underwhelming in my personal opinion. Uh, this kid though, this kid is very good. He's one of the best legends in the game in my personal opinion. As for Hawkins though... <laughs> Not so much. Let's go ahead and go through it. So, we'll go through Kid first because he's definitely the most exciting and I think he's legitimately one of the best legends in the game. He's he's built so, so uniquely. So, let's go ahead and go through him. Um, so, Legend Kid, his captain ability is a dex boosting captain. He is a dex character. We don't know his class combinations at this current point in time. But he's going to go ahead and boost dex characters attack by five times when they have a bomb or a super bomb slot. Now, super bomb is a new mechanic that came out in the recent treasure map on JP, where it's basically like a block orb where you can't manipulate it away and you still have to hit a perfect in order to make sure you don't get hit by the bomb. Um, if you hit a great or a good, it does a significant amount of damage to your team. So what this does is, is that if you have a bomb or a super bomb slot, you get five times attack to your dex characters, which is just, it's so good. Like that is a huge boost. Then if you don't have those orbs, it's still a four times boost to dex characters, which is great. And he also will boost all other types by 3.75, very reminiscent of Snake Man. Snake Man, if you have two specific orbs, five times captain, four times otherwise, 3.75 to all other colors. So far, I'm really, really liking this captain effect. Also, your cruise tandem slots will be replaced with bomb slots. There you go. So more bomb slots are going to be appearing because he does slightly increase the appearance of bomb and super bomb appearing. Now, I'm not really too sure if this means that super bomb are just generically going to be in your pool of orbs that can appear or if it's just saying like if you do get a bomb slot like it just it could be a super bomb slot that's not really confirmed it, it, it's a little bit sketchy at the moment the translations are a little bit iffy but we do know that you know you will be getting bomb slots instead of tandem slots he treats them as beneficial as well did i even write that i forgot to write that um yeah cruise bomb slots i'm doing this live bomb slots are treated as beneficial uh, just in case if that was not known before, uh, if I could spell correctly, beneficial, uh, and then also will slightly increase the chance of them appearing and crew takes zero damage from bomb and super bomb slots. So there is nothing you need to worry about. You'll get those orbs that treat as beneficial. Even if you hit a good or a great, you're taking no damage from the bomb orbs, which is good. I like that they've done this. It actually like makes sense for the character. I would say, um, with his old ma magnetism powers, he can attract cannonballs to himself and other, you know, metallic objects, which bombs would be. Um, so this makes sense. And I love the way that they've done it. It makes a lot of sense. He's extremely extremely strong um my only like i'd say it, it's it's a little bit of a gripe but it's the fact that the dex class or the dex color really is a little underwhelming um you do have some good characters there that um that can be abused in the dex color of course um it really comes down to what his classes are um because i really hope that this character is like um, like he has the, the driven class or powerhouse or something like that so that you could use someone like legend nami v1 to um, Get her boosts applied to kid that would make a lot of sense Like if that's the case, I think this would be amazing But even if he like he's like a shooter striker for example, that's still not really a big deal This character already with that captain effect is already one of the best captains in the game So I'm pretty impressed with what they've done so far. So let's go ahead and scroll down to his super typing So in order to activate his super typing effect, you need to have either one of the original super Supernovas on your team. So Luffy, Zoro, Law, Killer, Hawkins, Bedge, Bonnie, Apu, Drake, and Urog. So there's plenty of characters that you can apply there. In terms of dex units, yeah, there's plenty of units that you could apply here. Of course, the new Hawkins will be able to be used here. But either way, let's get into it. So his super typing effect states that he deals 100 times his attack and non-type damage to all enemies that ignores all defensive effects. This is great. Like, oh, wow, I just realized this. You could run literally Kaido Friend Captain and this guy, and this is a great wave clearing mechanic. Or if you want to run just double 
kid, you could do that. And if you want to wave click content super quick, you can literally launch one, one super type on one stage, one on another stage, and you're just wave clearing super quickly. I love this. This is great. Um, just giving you that damage. He also changes all of your crew slots, including block into bomb and dex characters gain super typing. I love this. I love this. I love this. You gotta remember that super typing does not activate enemy special interrupts, which means that if there is an interrupt that reacts to all manipulation, this literally gets around it. I love it. <laughs> Dude, I love this legend kid. He is amazing. Um, so that's great. Uh, when you compare it to some of the other super typings though, um, like we had the snake man, which was a two times attack boost to your whole team. That doesn't really compare. I think that Snake Man's is much, much better. Just getting a free attack boost, double damage for your whole team is phenomenal. Even like Sabo's, for example. Sabo would give you tap timing bonus damage and a chain multiplier amplification uh, to some degree. Um, Blackbeard would boost his own base attack. You've got Katakuri, which give you the guaranteed delay, which is kind of cool. So I guess this is kind of like a... Um, th this isn't like a, a damage boosting one, but giving you the full board of bomb slots is very good because we'll get into his special ability now, which is very interesting. So it consumes... All strength, dex, bomb, and super bomb slots on your crew. So it consumes them and deals damage, non-type damage, to the enemy depending on how many of those slots that were consumed. So if you consumed six orbs, you get a maximum of three million damage. And I believe that goes to all enemies? Um, yeah, so it, it, it yeah, I'm pretty sure it's all enemies. Let me just double check that really quick. Yes, it is. It is all characters. So this, uh, it, it's, it's to all enemies, right? So that's, in, uh, that's amazing, right? It doesn't go through damage negating abilities and barriers. Uh, but either way, that's, uh, 3 million damage max that you can get just from launching his special alone. And of course, with his super typing, you're guaranteed to get a full bomb of bomb slots. So that's great. Um, and then he also states that he changes all of your consumed slots into super bomb slots. So again, you can literally use his special, get the full board of bomb orbs, use, uh, use his super typing, get the full board of bomb orbs, then use his special to get 3 million damage to all enemies. And then you get a full, bomb, full board of super bomb slots, which are always counted as beneficial. So you get your five times attack boost. And then he also will boost the attack of dex characters by 2.5 times for one turn. Dude, this is just... Amazing. Um, of course, the fact is, is when you're comparing him to Snake Man, Snake Man is a rainbow orb booster. He's a rainbow two times attack cap, uh, two times super type special. Whereas this guy is like only for decks. You know, it's a little bit different, but he is still very good. If you are running a decks team, this is by far the best decks captain in the game. And of course, with super typing, it definitely makes those type disadvantage situations much, much better. So that is a thing. Um, and I like that his, uh, he, he, the 2.5, He's, he's his own crew's dedicated attack booster and orb manipulator. If you guys know, I love that. I love it when a character does that. So Kid, in my books, is just one of my favorite legends in the game. Just looking at him at a base value. I can't wait for the data download to see his special animations and his idol animations. It's going to be great. So that's uh, the rundown of this brand new Kid. He is awesome. I love him. Um, let's talk about Hawkins, though. Uh, unfortunately... Hawkins is a little bit of a downfall for me. I'm not a big fan of the way that they did this. So let's break him down. So he's going to boost the attack of Dex. Once again, he is a Dex character. Both of these characters are Dex. Um, he's a three times attack captain. Three times. And that's as high as he goes, by the way. Three times. He also boosts all other types by 2.75. Okay. Boost the crew's HP by 1.3. That's good. Uh, every time you enter a new stage... He increases the enemy's cooldowns by one. This is very similar to six plus Usopp. When you run him as a captain, every time you enter a new stage, their cooldowns go from whatever number it is, plus one. So it's not technically a delay and this does not activate enemy in interrupts or anything. It's just when you move into the next stage, it'll just inherently get moved up by one turn. This is interesting, but it's not super duper good. Like it's, it's just, it's whatever. It's nothing crazy. He also reduces all enemies HP by 10% every time you enter a new stage. Um, this also will activate before their preempt attack, which means that if they have a preemptive attack that puts up a barrier or something, this HP cut does go before that. So that's really good. And it also recovers 50% of the damage that you received in the previous stage. So that's all, that all happens every time you enter a new stage. That's a lot, right? That, that's a lot of really good effects. But the huge downside here is that his attack multiplier sucks. His attack multiplier is so bad. How are you going to release like five other Sugo Fest exclusives, which can reach up to a five times multiplier uh, or, or even higher in Sabo's case, right? Um, but then you've got this guy, which is sitting here at a three times. Like this, ah, oh, dude, I don't like this at all. I really don't. Uh, this is very reminiscent of uh, V2 Katakuri, if you guys know what, what his abilities do. Um, 
the ability to just heal at the end of every uh, every time you enter a new stage very very similar and then also like this is like bringing me vibes of uh, six plus Usopp so so far Hawkins not that impressive uh if his multipliers were like 3.75 up to a four time if he was a four times captain um, I think I would be a little bit more content with what his abilities do, but let's go through the rest of it. So his super typing is very, very absurd as well. So in order to activate the super typing, the enemy has to activate your crew support effect. So it's all dependent on what the enemy does to you. Now, as to what you get out of this, it enables you to drastically reduce damage taken that exceeds 500. And this is from each enemy as well. Um, above 500 you're basically never gonna die you, you basically just don't die when you launch this and also dex characters gain the super typing okay but this is not gonna happen all the time like you literally have to bring dedicated support effects in order to launch this so i don't know how i feel about that all too much because if, if it's the way that it's translated it literally means that if you have a special that launches a support effect afterwards that won't proc this the enemy has to do it to you so you'd have to run something like uh, Legend Corazon on a lore character or something like V1 Rayleigh on a Luffy character, something like that. Or even like um, 20th Anniversary Sanji, which removes poison um, on one of your Nami characters, for example. That could be another way you could do it if you get poisoned. So I don't know. This doesn't seem very good. I don't like the uh, I don't like the condition, but this effect is very good. It's basically you don't die, right? It's good. Um, let's talk about his special. So his special is very interesting. 500 times his attack in tightless damage to a single enemy. Uh, he changes his own slot and adjacent slots into matching. Okay. Now, he also stores accumulated damage received until you launch the special. This sounds very familiar, doesn't it? Adds 20 times accumulated value as additional tap timing bonus damage for three turns. Um, and I, I didn't mention it here as well, but it's a maximum of um, 6 million damage for six characters. So what this means is, is that um, each character on your crew will hit for a million damage. So this means that all you really need to do is take 50,000 damage. Once you take 50,000 damage, you can reach the max cap. And that's it. Like 50,000 damage is not difficult to do. Um, considering V2 Katakuri is 200,000 damage, and that takes quite a while to rack up. 50,000 damage will not take long. And once you do reach that and you launch the special, you just get 6 million damage extra for free with six characters on your crew. 1 million per character um, at max. So he just seems so underwhelming because that attack multiplier is so booty like ah uh, dude i'm so disappointed as i said if this was a four times and that was 3.75 i think a lot of people would be a little bit more happy but at this current point in time i'm pretty underwhelmed with hawkins i think he is one of the worst sugo fest exclusives that we have that we've had in a pretty long time honestly like I just don't see too many situations where like Hawkins is going to be the dedicated character to go to because I feel like if you need a really hardcore defensive effect, you should just run something that's just super duper strong and can blast through it. I, there aren't too many pieces of content where you literally need to bring a dedicated unit to block all the damage, right? And even if you do need to do that, there's plenty of characters that can provide that. So I don't really know what they're trying to go for with this Basil Hawkins here. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about Basil Hawkins down below in the comment section. But as it stands right now, this brand new Sugo Fest exclusive kid, I'm loving. I love this new kid. And I think he's definitely one of the best legends in the game. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.